Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from InfoRest. Hope you're all doing well. So, the other day I posted a video talking about Amazon's Twitch laying off hundreds and hundreds of, of workers there, about 35% of their workforce. And lo and behold, we also got another news from a big tech giant, Google, who is also laying off more workers as well. Starting 2024 with a bang, with layoffs and layoffs and layoffs. We're hearing also from certain divisions from Amazon, uh, further layoffs there as well. We're hearing from Citigroup as well, layoffs there as well, right? And what's going on, right? We, we see that the non-farm payrolls report looks all good and hunky dorers, or is it really? Right? And you look at really the, the true numbers in the jobs data, the U.S. jobs data, you're starting to see that there is plateauing and weakness and also the revisions that come in every time, those are being revised lower. What are those revisions? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the U.S. data, the non-farm payrolls report. Every month when it comes out, they report a, a good number. But what happens after is they come back and they say, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait a second. We didn't account for this or we didn't account for that. And therefore, the number is actually lower. It's actually at, at, you know, it's actually this number, not the one that we reported before. Right. And we've been seeing those revisions every single time come in lower, come in lower, come in lower, come in lower. Right. And lo and behold, also with all these big you know, tech giants out there, these big companies, you're starting to see more layoffs kick in. And eventually that data that's looking all rosy and good is not going to look good anymore. Eventually in 2024, I believe that the growth data, right, that we're going to see in the U.S. is going to start to deteriorate further and further. And you're going to really see the true signs of this upcoming recession, right? Again, everyone everyone says, or, you know, a lot of people are pushing out the narrative of soft landing, soft landing. Yeah, we are in soft landing right now, but soft landing tends to be a transition period, right? You know, there's one example where you could argue that, okay, we saw soft landing in 1995. Sure, but that happens to be, you know, soft landings tend to be a very low probability when you look at past recessions, past economic cycles, and past data points when you compare it you know, previous years, it tends to mimic the hard landing scenarios that we've seen in the past. So yeah, we are in soft landing. Yes, this is soft landing, but it's a transition. Soft landing is a transition. We're transitioning from good economy, soft landing, and then eventually the blow. And it also makes you think that why did Jerome Powell, the Fed, all of a sudden in December, from December 1st saying higher for longer, and then eventually in 15, 14, 15 days completely reverse it. Okay, rate cuts. Rate cuts for everyone, rate cuts next year. We're gonna do pencil in three and we'll see how the economy goes, right? So a little bit fishy there. Now, the, there's an article here that comes from CNN Business. It says, Google is laying off staff who work on some of its most recognizable products here, okay? So we said this, last two years I've been saying that, you know, they're gonna start off with a little bit of, you know, the the workforce of the employees that are not, um, you know, so vital to the business, and then they're gonna assess the situations and, and see, okay, how is this year going? And then if they see that their deterioration in their business and their growth, then they're gonna go and lay off more. Companies are not gonna go all of a sudden start predicting recessions, start laying off workers right away, because if they're wrong, it can be very costly. If they're wrong on the recession or they're wrong on the timing, it's very hard to time these things as well, right? If they're wrong, it's gonna cost them a lot. Then they have to go out again, hire again, and then that would not look good for their bottom line. Okay, so it starts off like that, then it goes on to recognizable products, recognizable areas, like it says here in this article, and then what happens next, right? You've seen it before previously as well, is that you start to see the transition further, bigger and bigger into more prominent areas, sectors, um, groups within the business, right? More businesses out there, not just tech, but every, in other industries as well, and it starts to hit you know, a lot of companies out there. So 
Let's get into this article. It says Google is starting the year off with sweeping layoffs across divisions. The layoffs include hundreds of employees who work on some of the company's most recognizable products, including Google Assistant, the voice activated software that helps users check the weather, set timers, and quickly look up facts. The Google Assistant layoffs are at least partly driven by a shift in focus towards artificial intelligence, AI. So it's very funny, you know, it says this in, in this in this uh, paragraph here that um, the focus, right? I'm going to read this again. Um, Google Assistant layoffs are at least partly driven by a shift in focus towards AI, right? There's a focus towards AI, thus why these layoffs are happening, right? So in, they want to integrate companies' latest AI models into its products. The changes further reflect how artificial intelligence already appears to be displacing jobs in the industry that created it, right? So first of all, right? Obviously, they will use the word AI. AI is still relatively new. It's an area that is still growing. And sure, there is some truth to it that a lot of companies are moving towards AI. And there's going to be jobs, you know, replaced by AI. But let's not hide the fact, the truth of the macro data out there, the economic data out there that's showing the real uh, pain. And, and it's very easy to come out for any company to say that, okay, the reason why we're doing it is because of AI, right? It's the most easiest excuse out there. And if you looked at previous earnings last year as well, what did, what did many companies do to get their share price moving up higher? They just said the word AI and they kept repeating it in, in their conferences. Every single time they said AI or they mentioned it AI, there were people even calculating how many times, you know, AI was mentioned there. And, and based on how many times AI was mentioned, the stock went up more and more right so it's all a craze and and i don't fully agree that they're focused yes they may be focusing on ai but ai is not the real reason of these layoffs especially in in, in important areas especially with important jobs right i'll go on uh to another uh, paragraph here it says google's core Engineering team is also affected by the change. The company said adding the layoffs are taking place globally. Uh, the decision follows an announcement this week. Amazon concerning layoffs in its film television, uh, television arm, uh, as well as Twitch, the company's live streaming platform, which we talked about in the previous video. Um, and Google is working to find other roles for some affected employees amid the restructuring of the, com uh, the company set. Right. So what's very, very interesting here is that um, the Google's core engineering team, right, going back to that paragraph, Google's core engineering team is also affected by the change. The company said, adding that the layoffs are taking place globally. You do need core engineering team. This, AI is not replacing core engineering team within two, one, two years very quickly. The, the, the technology is not that advanced yet. It will definitely get there. There, you know, technology is advanced compared to, you know, 10 years uh, ago. And yes, you know, we've, we've seen quite the strive uh, in AI, but it's not really fully developed or in that area where you where you can confidently say that yeah okay time to replace all the jobs there right so core engineering team just has to do in my opinion the cost right a lot of companies are facing the cost and most importantly what they're not telling you and what they won't tell you is that a lot of these companies have debt that they have to restructure debt that they have to refinance debt that's coming due that they're going to refinance at a higher rate and if it's you know it's not if and if they don't have to do that then guess what their clients may have to do that which is going to affect their businesses which is going to affect their top line and bottom line which is thus why these layoffs are starting off like this like we see it in 2024 and why it will continue and why i think the data will continue to deteriorate in 2024 and no longer soft landing will be the narrative and then all of a sudden boom you've got the hard landing that i think will inevitably co come soon right so anyways let me know what you guys think leave a comment below subscribe hit the like button bell icon to be notified on the next video i'll see you guys around cheers bye